Welcome back to another edition of Outlaw Frags. My name's Russell. I'm James. And we are going to... Let me slow it down just a little bit, James. We're going to go back to our roots a bit. Yeah, we just went and we've covered a lot of expensive fragrances. Yep. A lot. So, we're going to go backwards and do a house overview of John Mark Paris. For all of you that are still in the stage like me, um, these are all going to be $10 a piece. Yep. And we're going to do like a little sniffing rate, just a house Absolutely. overview. Absolutely. So, stick with us and we'll be right back. So like Russ was saying, these are cheaper fragrances, they're all about 10 bucks, but I gotta tell you that some of these are real gems. Actually, this one right here, Tattoo, I've done multiple videos on, and I absolutely love this fragrance right here. This has a... So let's just go ahead and start with this one. A note of melon in the top that I have fallen in love with. And I just want to show everyone out there. Yeah. The, for a $10 fragrance. Yeah, the atomizers sprayers, aren't bad. And we have both, Are we amazing. did a versus, yeah, this is so good, of this versus a $380 fragrance, mm -hmm. which is bond number nine, Lafayette Street, and this smells incredibly close. Speaking that. of Lafayette Street. Yeah, I just saw the video that Chad did on it. Chad just roasted yes. that fragrance because of the price tag. Yes. So, not because of the scent. No. The scent is a good scent. The scent is awesome. It is amazing scent. But ten dollars? Yeah. You why would you waste your money and spend that much money, money. when you have this available to all of you at Ross and TJ Maxx? Yes. And this smells absolutely That's... wonderful. And in the heat, this is one that I like to wear in the summertime. I actually like to wear it all the time, really. But in the summer, in the heat, this top note which lasts an, an incredible long time, but in the heat just pops off you like nobody's business. This is I, this and, is wonderful. And we had 110 degree temps all summer, so this really was working really good. Yeah, and like I said, I like that so much, I got my first bottle and then went out and scoured the rest of the Rosses until I could find another one. I have two bottles of that. I like it that much. Which is funny because when I very first started collecting, I just got into it um, and I was just running around and found TJ Maxx even mm -hmm. carried fragrances. I went in there and I found this one, which if I can get it right, what is, oh, here, let me use my yep. shirt. And it's just called Homme Noir and I was so impressed with it that it was less than a week later I went back in and I picked up a backup bottle of this one. Now I will say I, I've got this one too, I really really like it. What's cool about this one is in the top notes, it, buried in the back is almost a cherry vibe. It's not real super present but in the back it is definitely there, it's very noticeable. This is, this is a, this is your genre of snuggle scents. Right. That's what I was about to say. This is that date night that, yeah. that gets it's close. It's a very seductive it's uh, scent. It's sweet. And still yet on budget. Yeah. The, yeah. the best thing about this house is I haven't found one yet that's that's not a good scent. So we'll preference that right now. Yeah. We're not going to bash any of his because they're all really good. But the best thing about it is they're affordable. Yeah, like hey, if you either before this or after this, you're gonna see a video that we did on the overview of perfumes to Marley, mm -hmm. and literally you could pick up everything that's in front of you for less than what I paid for all those samples. Right, and yeah. full bottle. Full bottles, yeah. Yeah, it's just incredible. So then, um, no, the next one that I had picked up was this is called Paris Blue Noir, which I don't know why that camera is not. Picking it up that good, but I found this one. Oh, man. Again, every one of these, now you'll notice that there's a size difference between some of them, these bigger bottles and these little bottles, but they did still all cost $10, $10 a piece, yes. Now this is the first time I've smelled this one. 
the, the Paris Blue. Paris Blue, yeah. Then it comes across as a, it's definitely a blue scent, which is an aquatic kind of a freshy. Like a clean. Yeah. This is nice. This is, You know what this would be great for if you just need something to put on to go do something casual. This is a great casual scent. Yeah. It's not overly powering. This doesn't jump off the card. It's not a huge projector, but it smells nice and clean. And this was the first blue I ever picked up. I first started trying to use it in the uh, office for, for office yeah. work. And it's a non-offensive. Um, it's just... I. Ended up tending to go with a little bit more spicier sporting life, yeah. and you know, um, you guys can look at our videos down there, and you'll see which ones I tended towards instead yeah. of. But it's still an amazing little scent, and it's awesome for the office because people will notice it, yeah, but, but it's, it's not in your face. I I can grab your uh, Sauvage yeah. if you want the EDT, and you can wear that to the office as well. Choke out everybody. But this one, <laughs> you'll get a lot more positive responses This from. Is, Yeah, this would make for a great gym scent as well. This would make for a great student scent if you're in a classroom environment with a lot of people and you don't want to choke everybody out. Yeah, this is a really good scent. For 10 yeah. bucks, you can't go wrong with that. Um, then I found, this is called Ohm Extreme, which those of you that watch some of our others, we broke down what ohm means. Ohm means man. So yeah, in it's, French. It's man extreme yep. is what this one is. And I mean, I'm just amazed. Yeah. Ten dollars and some of these two hundred dollar bottles are spitting these at us, yeah. and yet these are all really good. The caps, I, I must say, look, they're just cheap little plastic. There's no weight to them whatsoever. But they still look decent. I will say that. But the presentation on them are, and, and they're pretty uniform except for the last one. We'll yeah. get to that one. I will say that these two, the blue and the extreme, are kind of, well, how do I want to say this? This one's light. This one's just a little bit heavier, but not much. This is still could be used for a gym scent or for school or anything like that. It doesn't come across as an extreme to me, you know what I mean? Right. But it's still really nice, it's clean, it's worth every bit of $10 price tag. And, and I will say this about most of them, um, well at least these guys right mm -hmm. here, they're a little bit more synthetic I found than these two. Yeah. If that makes sense to anyone, yeah. these these come off a little bit more, more natural smelling where these do give just a little bit of the synthetic but not overly synthetic like the cool citron yeah to me you know and stuff like that but still not offensive it's just these two are were my and then if you're, bangers on them. if you're just starting out in the fragrance game these are still really good right because look we both have pretty extensive collections at this point mm -hmm. i'd still wear that yeah you know it doesn't come across to where i'm like you know what I'm, there's no way i'm gonna put that I'm that's, above this. This yeah. is that's kind of the progression that people sometimes they every reviewer out there calls them the niche snobs. And and they apparently get to a certain level where they can never go backwards. We're at our roots still, no yeah. matter how big our bottle collections get. Or how much some of them cost. If something smells good, it's it's definitely worth the wear. This right here, this right here smells so good it is ridiculous. I love this, and I've got stuff behind me that costs 300 times the amount of this, so they're around $300. I got $300 plus bottles back there right. that I absolutely love this. This is the best, in my opinion, that best you can buy. Dollar best $10 right? ever, ever. So, the last one. And this is the bottle I gave you, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. This, the only reason I got this one, I never saw this before, and then you give me this bottle, and it was, what, the next day? And I said, James, James, hey, I'm at uh, Ross, and they've got Super Sexy in here, and he goes, like, I just gave you the bottle yesterday. Sexy Secrets. So, um, yeah, Sexy Secret. And, and so I, I, gave... I didn't pick that up because you had already gave me that to kind of complete out my line. Then I saw another one, uh, another blue one. That I didn't pick up as well that I'm probably gonna have to pick up just to complete the collection but then that always raised James and I sit around for about an hour before we ever start shooting and have long conversations yeah the conversation of the day was about like all the flankers and trying to collect a certain house or and then one of the things was was you never know 
if you have the entire house, unless yeah, it's something like Mew Book Clone where it's published somewhere. Because these are, I think, there's one or two of these on Fragrantica, but for the majority, they're not. So trying to find out information on a lot of these, that's just like I always knew there was a lemon um, melon note in the top of this, but I had no idea what it was. Because mm-hmm. this is not on Fragrantica. There is another one called Tattoo, but it is not the same as what this bottle is right here. Now, I've got to say, I find Homme Noir mm-hmm. sexier than Sexy, Sexy Secret, Secret or Homme. See, I gave you this bottle, and I sent a bottle of this to um, Danielson. I sent Danielson a, like a box of 10 different frags. This is one that I sent him to. And he likes it. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, but it is not bad. If you're starting out your, your journey and this is something you want to pick up, it's for 10 bucks. It is wonderful for 10 bucks. And each one of them are different. It's yes. Not, it's not that there's they no have an overall redundancy right yeah. on, on any of this in the house. But to be honest with you, if you only got two, I would get these two right here. Yes. Because this one is awesome, and this one, I still say, it's a, a snuggle. Yeah, it's a great snuggle. Get close scent, and you can use it for date nights. You can use it for multiple occasions. And then this one is just your, yeah, your hidden the, gem yeah. banger uh, because it's so closely. And I don't even want to say it clones it, but, you know, it is. It's I don't, I don't think it's a clone. But yeah, it's a because, real close interpretation because he doesn't clone anything that I found. Well, that and this came out way, way before Lafayette Street from Bond, Bond Number Nine. Nine. This has been out for years. If anything, they somebody at Bond them. Number Nine found this and like, hell, that's really good for ten bucks. Let's make something that's close because right. the, the the similarities between that and Lafayette Street are uncanny. They really, really are. This I really like because this has got this has got a nice sweetness to it, but yet it's not super sickly sweet. This is just this is really really nice. These two right here are just straight out of the park for ten bucks. Like I said, he picked up you picked up two bottles of this. I, I went and picked up a backup bottle because I liked it so much, and I thought maybe that would be my new signature scent. Yeah, and I have two bottles of tattoo because I like it that much, and to me that really says something. If for me, if there is something that is so good that I go out and find another bottle of it, especially with all the stuff that I have, to me... To, to pick up that backup act, bottle, yes. you're saying. Yeah, to me, it's got to really justify picking up another bottle, even at 10 bucks. Well, and I'll be honest with everyone, I was under 12 bottles... When you got that? When I found that, and I just, I was impressed with it right off the bat. Yeah, it's wonderful. And, you know... Does it compare to like eighteen twenty one? No, two different genres, yeah. two different, completely uh, different scent DNAs. Yeah, but this is something. A great little scent. If you are far along in your journey and you have got a handful of um, niche fragrances, these two may still pique your interest. But on average, this is going to be a house that you're going to step past. Right. Just because that's where you are. In this would be your entry entry yeah. level, um, except for tattoo. Well, and, and, this, and this, this one, one yeah. Um, because this one could stick with you, even though you you get a, a lot, absolutely large collection. But when you're starting off your teenager, when you're starting yeah, off, absolutely, and you're just a, okay, you're 50 years old. You've been wearing um, Old Spice for the last whatever 30, 30 five, years, 40 years. And all of a sudden, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, and you're looking for something. This is a great, is great. house yes. to start stepping into before you're dropping, you know, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a bottle. Start looking at some of these, and you you can start to actually see the differences between different scents as well. Yeah. That was something that I found very interesting when I when I got it because this was totally different than this. This yep. was totally you know each one of them was different. And it, it got me to open up a lot more. Yeah. And, and then another fun. thing, you know, Chaos Fragrances made a video that I think the whole community kind of had a little backlash to where he talked about don't buy a bunch of cheap scents. Mm-hmm. When you go out and you purchase something like this, you should never be thinking, I'm going to turn around and sell this if I don't like it. Because right. first, it costs you 10 bucks. 
Right. Period. So that means I can go to the store and I could buy it for 10. Mm-hmm. So when you buy these, buy these because you smelt it and you liked it. Or you've, you've listened to multiple reviewers that have kind of the same taste. Yeah, and have said pretty much the same things over and over based on the same fragrance and then buy it. If you've got six reviewers telling you to get tattoo, it's you might safe... want to get tattoo yeah. because, you know, all of us aren't just making up that this week we're hyping in FragCom yeah. Tattoo by John Mark Paris and guess what? Every other reviewer today is going to sit down and do a review yeah. because we said so and it becomes the hype. Yeah. It's not the way it works. If these people like it, if the other reviewers like it, they're going to do a video on it yeah. and they'll put it out. If they don't like it, you can you do one of two things. You make a video saying you don't like it. Or, or you just don't cover it. Or we just don't cover it because there's so much to cover. We had that discussion with another fragrance. Yeah. And I said, well, why do we even want to do that? Well, we have 100 videos to do. And it was because we covered every other thing from the house. So we went in that yeah. and we went backwards, did that video. It wasn't our favorite. But it still wasn't bad. Yeah, it's another example is this one right here. Right. This isn't my favorite. This isn't bad. But this, out of everything that's up here, would probably be the least one that I would reach out for. And then, you know, I've said it before, just because I personally don't like something doesn't mean that you will not like it. Right. Always go out and check for yourself. I know something. these are something that you probably can't sniff. I sniff this one. I'm telling you, tattoo. Yeah. Tattoo's wonderful because these are normally locked up at Ross. Mm-hmm. So you can't you can't smell them before you bite them. But for ten bucks, you go to the corner store and you spend more than ten dollars on candy and soda. So if you buy it and you don't like it, it's not a huge. Investment. You can't even buy a lunch right now for under ten dollars. Yep. So and you're getting full bottles with presentation. Yeah. I, I took them out of the boxes. The boxes are down here. Pretty much every single box is the exact same. They're black. They've got a little lift tab that folds. Um, that's, and for that's, ten bucks, that's about it. So, with that being said, I want to tell you guys thank you for being here. Do me a favor: like, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up. That's right. And smack the holy living snot out of the bell. Smack the snot out of. That's it. right. And it's going to give you three options: hit all notification. That way, right. you get notified every time we make a new video and drop it. So, with all that being said, there is no bad time to smell good, and, and all these smell, smell good. good. We will catch you on the next one. Thanks for spending some time with us.